Be sure to check out FIFACoinsOnline.com for the best deals on FIFA coins from a place you know you can trust. What's up guys, Kurt here and welcome to a pretty overpowered squad review today. It's a solid squad and today it has got some insanely pacey, solid, very good players. So we're going to start straight away in goal and in goal we have Salvatore Sirigu. This guy is absolutely brilliant, very good goalie, good height, good diving and reflexes as well. It's always brilliant when you have good, uh, a tall goalie with those uh, great stats as well. And 11 uh, games and to only cost 1,500 coins, he's an absolute bargain. Left back we have Marcello. I've been using him quite a bit in teams lately. I was usually put off by his high attack and work rate, but it really doesn't seem to matter that much. His great pace, great dribbling, great passing actually makes him a good asset going forward, as well as very nice defensively too. 45,000 coins, he's a bit more on the expensive side, but still a very good left back. First centre-back is Thiago Silva, one of the better centre-backs in the game. 152,000 coins he costs, which is quite expensive, but... For a player with 82 pace, 88 defence and 82 heading, you can't really uh, avoid that. Absolutely fantastic uh, centre-back. Second centre-back is Felipe Santana. Very, very good. Almost as good as uh, Giorgio Silva and a lot, lot cheaper. 3,200 coins and unbelievable. 81 pace, 77 defence and 84 heading. Again, really, really good stats and very tall and quite strong as well. Right back we have Piszczek, I mainly include him for his crossing, he's got I think it's like 82 or 84 crossing because I did want to build this team mainly around getting crosses into the informed Torres but with 86 pace and 80 defence he still is a good viable option for uh, helping you out with defensive abilities too. First centre mid is Lucas Moura, transferred version moved back to a centre mid. He scored an absolute screamer, you'll see it in the video later, it was so so good, incredible goal and he's got 4 star skills as well, really pacey player too. Moving on now to Ramirez, he's very very good, I tried to include him in as many teams as possible, as you can see I've just kept this 4-3-3 one for quite a while. 6,800 coins he cost me in the right formation, 88 pace, 82 dribbling, 76 defence, that's mainly the whole point of having him, he's one of the more defensive midfielders but he's also very, uh, quite strong and quite tall with it and very nice passing. Over onto the right centre mid, we have Juan Mata, 32,000 coins he cost me in the right uh, formation. 83 pace, 87 dribbling, 4 star skills and some great passing too. He's very good at link up play with Jesus Navas up there. So left wing we have Levetsi. I actually started off having Nene here and I also had uh, Inform Pedro on the right. I'll mention that a bit more in a bit. But uh, Levetsi was absolutely brilliant. Four star skills, really good pace and uh, very nice at uh, helping Torres out with goals and assists. And then over on the right, uh, on the right wing, we have Jesus Navas. This guy is unbelievable. I, in my opinion, he's the best right winger on the game. He's better than uh, Walcott, and I really rate Walcott. He's better than anyone else I've used. 92 pace, 86 dribbling, and 80 passing. He seemed to be in and around the goals so often, you would not believe. I reckon he had... 15 assists maybe at least in those 9 games, 5 goals as well, absolutely brilliant and only 8,500 coins. I highly recommend checking him out if you guys can. Then in striker, we have the inform Fernando Torres. Only 8 goals in 11 games, which is a bit of a disappointment. But we did go through a phase when I had Nene and Pedro. It just wasn't working out for me. And I'd say 5 of those games were probably write-offs from the Pedro and Nene situation. So uh, that is a bit of a disappointment. But I'm going to talk more about the team now as we go into the gameplay. So, as I mentioned originally, the team is mainly geared around crossing. You've got the brilliant heading that uh, that is involved in with uh, Torres. By the way, that wasn't the good goal I was talking about with Lucas. It was still all right, though. Lucky deflection. But uh, you've got all the brilliant heading that Torres has and the good height. But you've also got his great pace and his great shooting. As you'll see here, Nene involved in one of the goals. Uh, I believe it went into uh, it went to Torres. And it just seemed so hard to play with Nene and uh, inform Pedro. I'm not sure why. I picked them because they both had really high crossing. And I thought they were going to be absolutely brilliant but it turned out that they really weren't it just did not seem to work for me nothing was going my way and I really struggled to use them so I did switch them out for these guys pace your options but definitely without a doubt far far better uh, they've both got four star skills the two guys that we got in now Lovetsi and Jesus Navas and they are both absolutely brilliant I really really rate them guys if you could pick them up then definitely do so so on to the informed Torres now I'm not going to talk too much about him because I'm hoping to do an individual review on him but I did really like using him he was very very good at scoring goals just as much as Jesus Navas you see a lot of the time when Jesus Navas was through really calm simple finish and just really like easy finesse into the bottom corner and just really nicely done Jesus Navas was very very good for that Levetsi was also pretty good at scoring uh, scoring some goals with really nice uh, finesses 
So into the midfield, it is pretty good because you've got some amazing passes of the ball in there. Uh, 79, 78 and 80 uh, as the, the free passes stats. And then they're all really good dribbling. Everyone has a minimum of 82 dribbling, which is really nice. Helps you to take your time on the ball and look at that goal from Lucas as well. Beautiful. One of the better goals scored with this team. Uh, but yeah, it gives you time to like work, the, work your way around the team with a ball and just take your time and not be too worried about losing it. And it's also pretty solid defensively because Ramirez isn't an absolutely brilliant defensive midfielder of the centre mids like he's brilliant in uh, to be one of the more defensive ones I think he's got a high defensive work rate as well and with 76 defence and 88 pace, it's really good because he will absolutely leg it back to get the ball, to try and tackle them, and it just works so, so nicely. Um, in terms of crossing again as well, we've got uh, Juan Mata seemed to work really nicely with the overlaps on Jesus Navas. Of course, he's left-footed, so you will have to like turn around and readjust your play, but those two worked really well together. And then Piszczek coming down from the right back. Uh, position. Yeah, I think he has like 82 or 84 crossing as well. So he as well has some absolutely fantastic crosses in his locker and is very, very solid. Again, going back to the two centre-backs, the amount of pace, heading and defensive abilities that you've got with those two is absolutely brilliant. They are possibly the best uh, centre-back partnership. Maybe them or Chiellini and Ogbonna are very, very good, uh, very good pair. So they're extremely solid. And like I said, Marcello didn't seem to be caught out of the back too frequently. Uh, it worked quite nicely with him as the left-back. Uh, in terms of the goalie as well, last but not least, Salvatore Sirigu is absolutely brilliant. One of my favourite goalies on the game. Uh, the great mix. Usually you find the really uh, tall goalies don't have the good diving and good reflexes, but he has that without a doubt. Now, he has only 50 speed, but that doesn't matter. Goalie speed isn't much of a problem as long as you don't run your goalies out. So to have 85 diving, 87 reflex and good positioning as well as being ridiculously tall. It's absolutely perfect and a, an absolute dream team uh, selection. So we're coming up towards the end of this video now, guys. If you could stick around to the end, uh, I'm just going to show you about the latest video on my second channel. But if you could leave a like on this video, that would be absolutely fantastic. Thank you, as always, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. If we could get to 400 likes, that would be amazing. Thanks again for watching, guys. And if you do want to check out the latest video uploaded to my second channel, I've uploaded the second part of... Winnie the Pooh's Home Run Derby. You guys found the first episode absolutely brilliant. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So if you could go and check out part two, that'd be fantastic. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.